am your friend Samad Ghattuar back on this channel after a short time. So in our last video we learnt about the CNC tools and its different types. So it's not yet completely finished. After posting 3 to 4 videos I will post the video on the carbide tools and the and its tool holders. And after that we will also see about uh, a video on the types of automatic tool changers. So, talking about this video we will discuss and learn about the G codes and M codes that is miscellaneous codes of the horizontal machining center in our first video we learnt about the G codes and M codes of the vertical machining centers so now we will learn about the uh, G codes and M codes of horizontal machining centers so on, the, on your screen you can see different CNC tools which are used for the different CNC operations. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So these are the G codes of HMC that is horizontal machining centers such as CNC lathe and turning machines. Uh, these codes shown on the screen are generally used for the Siemens panel and also in many other panels. So most of these G codes are similar to that of the G codes for vertical machining centers such as milling centers. So first is G00 it is used for rapid transfers or rapid movement. Then G01 is used for linear interpolation that is linear movement. Then G02 means spindle on and rotate in clockwise direction. And G03 means spindle on and rotate in counterclockwise direction. G04 means dwell time or also called as stop time. Then G09 means non-model exact stop. G25 means lower spindle speed limited or lower work area limiting. G26 means upper spindle speed limited or upper work area limiting. G33 means constant lead thread cutting. G40 means tool nose radius compensation cancel. G41 means tool nose radius compensation left and G42 means tool nose radius compensation right G53 means non model sup suppression of settable zero offset uh, then G54 to G59 are work zero offset codes in vertical machining centers we were using these G codes for setting the work offsets then G60 means exact stop G63 tapping with compensating chuck G64 continuous path control mode G70 means inches input and G71 is metric input that is mm these two G70 and G71 are very important for the input pur purpose then G74 reference point approach G75 fixed point approach G90 as we know it is absolute coordinate system and G91 again it is incremental coordinate system then G94 and G95 are used for giving the feed rate to the tool so G94 means feed in mm per minute and G95 means feed in mm per revolution uh, G96 means constant surface speed control and G97 means constant surface speed control cancel so in rest of the codes there is a slight change as you can see uh, it is written as cycle E82 center drilling cycle cycle E83 deep hole drilling cycle cycle E84 means tapping cycle cycle E85 means rimming cycle cycle E86 means fine boring cycle cycle E88 means manual boring cycle cycle E93 that is grooving cycle E94 undercutting cycle E95 stock removal turning cycle F97 threading thread cutting cycle and F98 means chaining of thread 
सो नाउ एम कोड्स और मिसलेनियस फंक्शंस और मिसलेनियस कोड्स सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द एम कोड्स ऑफ वर्टिकल मशीनिंग सेंटर नाउ वी विल लर्न अबाउट द एम कोड्स फॉर हॉरिजॉन्टल मशीनिंग सेंटर्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट मिस दीज मिसलेनियस कोड्स आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू द डायमेंशनल और एक्शियल मूवमेंट ऑफ द मशीन बट आर यूज फॉर द मिसलेनियस फंक्शंस सच एज पिंडल कूलेंट स्टार्ट एंड स्टॉप प्रोग्राम स्टॉप टूल चेंज एंड एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर द बेसिक एम कोड्स विच आर यूज फॉर द एच एम सीज तो फर्स्ट इज एम जीरो जीरो दैट इज ऑप्शनल स्टॉप और कंडीशनल स्टॉप एम जीरो वन ऑप्शनल स्टॉप कंडीशनल एम जीरो टू एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एम जीरो थ्री स्पिंडल ऑन क्लॉक वाइज एम जीरो फोर स्पिंडल ऑन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज एम जीरो फाइव दैट इज स्पिंडल स्टॉप एम जीरो सेवन इज नॉर्मल प्रेशर कूलेंट ऑन एम जीरो नाइन कूलेंट ऑफ एम टेन दैट इज चक डी क्लैम्प एंड एम इलेवन चक क्लैम्प एम थर्टीन सो द एम टेन एंड एम इलेवन आर न्यू फॉर द एच एम सीज दैट एज एच एम सी कंटेन्स अ चक इन विच द वर्क पीस इज होल्ड सो दिस वॉज नॉट इन द वी एम सी सो दैट इज द न्यू वन सो एम इलेवन ओके चक क्लैम्प देन एम थर्टीन मीन्स रोटरी स्पिंडल एनेबल क्लॉक वाइज एम फोर्टीन रोटरी स्पिंडल एम फिफ्टीन रोटरी स्पिंडल डिसेबल एम सिक्सटीन चक आई डी एम सेवेंटीन एनेबल एंड ऑफ सब प्रोग्राम एम एटीन चक ओ डी एम नाइनटीन ओरिएंटेड स्पिंडल स्टॉप एम ट्वेंटी मीन्स ओरिएंटेशन डिसेबल एम ट्वेंटी सेवन मीन्स लो प्रेशर चकिंग एम ट्वेंटी एट मीन्स हाई प्रेशर चकिंग एम ट्वेंटी नाइन M30 end of the program M32 tail stop wheel forward and M33 means tail stop wheel retract M34 part sketcher forward M35 part sketcher backward M36 ejector forward M37 ejector retract M38 air jet on M39 spindle speed disable M41 gear low range M42 gear high range so these all are new for the uh, hmc basic codes are same for vmc and hmc but uh, some are different now m46 means auto door open and m47 means auto door close m48 spindle override enable m49 spindle override 100% m50 spindle lock on and m51 means spindle lock off M52 rotary arm forward M53 means rotary arm retract M54 quill override on M55 chuck single override on M56 tail stock quill interlock on M57 interlock off M60 means door interlock off and M62 means door interlock on and all these are the M codes for the uh, HMCs such as M89 then un unload finish part M92 convey chip convey on or on M93 means chip convey or off M98 sub program call this is also same in VMC for calling the sub program in the main program M96 index check and M99 end of the program sub program so when we call any sub program in the main program so the sub uh, m99 represents that the sub program is end so it is very important to use m99 at the end of the sub program so i hope you would have understood the g codes and m codes of the horizontal machining centers so if you found this video helpful so please press the like button and share my video and at the last stay safe and stay at home thank you